another lesson. This time we're going to see uh, Bring on the Night from The Police. This is a great song and i uh, just going to explain quickly how he does this uh, wonderful arpeggio played entirely on the first, third and fourth string of the guitar. This arpeggio is based on uh, um, fifth and sixth intervals. <laughs> Which are again played all on the second and fourth string, and then he lets the E ring, E string, ring through the whole arpeggio. Uh, so this is how it sounds. <laughs> So how he does it, he just employs the same uh, picking pattern actually, that's a finger pattern throughout the whole thing. So first thing you have to learn is actually the position. So we start, this position is on the 10th fret, second position is here, 8th fret, then third position is this, 7th fret, then goes back again to the 10th fret, then goes down to the 5th fret, then goes up to the 12th fret, then goes down to the 10th fret, and then finally back to the 8th fret. Now let me zoom to show you better how this works. So. So 10th fret, 10th fret, then 8th fret, 9th fret, then 7th fret, 7th fret, then again 10th fret, 10th fret, then down, 5th fret, 5th fret, then up, 12th, 12th, 10th, 10th, 8th, 9th. So, once you've learned the positions, the important part of the song is to understand how to use the right hand correctly. Now, what he does is actually using every, every, in every position the same structure and sequence, which is, which is thumb, index, middle, thumbs, index, middle, thumbs, index. So one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two is one two three one two three one two. So if we start with the first position, which is tenth fret and tenth fret, you have to do. So every time you pick the fourth string with your thumb the second string with your index finger and the uh, open E string with your middle finger. Again, the important thing about this riff is all about the consistency and you just have to make it as linear as possible without really uh, interrupting the flow. Otherwise it will sound a bit you know, clunky. So the important thing is not to do like this really doesn't sound good. He actually Actually, the rhythm of this comes all from the right hand. So if you if you practice enough, maybe starting slowly, like then 
then the left hand is quite easy. I mean, once you learn it, it's just very basic positions that you skip across the neck. And it's similar shapes. What gives the beauty to this riff is, again, how you manage to interact the two hands and make it very quick and smooth. <laughs> So this is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.